I had, a, no, you, I, had a, you, I had a question, and the question you, was, how much want, did you cut them you by? You want me to answer How question? much did you cut them I'm by? I'm happy to answer the question. All right, and it is? Here's what happened. President Obama and Mitt Romney go head-to-head -head in their second presidential debate. The two went head-to-head -head on a lot of issues, hashing out their differences on the debate floor. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm J.B. Buno. Thanks for joining us here on the Late Edition in High Definition. The debate, which wrapped up a little while ago here on WNY-TV, was very different from the first. President Obama was clearly more aggressive tonight, but Mitt Romney asserted himself like he did in Kentucky, leading to some heated exchanges throughout the town hall-style debate. And WNY-TV Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Policastro is on Long Island where the debate took place tonight, and she has the very latest. Good evening from Long Island, New York. Tonight, President Obama and Mitt Romney squared off in their first town hall style debate. They answered questions from undecided voters. This was a really intense, feisty debate here. Both candidates came across as being really strong. Some people are already saying Barack is back, talking about the fact that the president did much better this time around than he did during his first debate over in Denver. And the moderator had a tough job today. Uh, inside the debate hall, some members of the media were talking about the fact that they were hoping that she could break up fights because it really became so very feisty at different parts. There were some new topics. Uh, they talked about jobs after college, gas prices, equal pay for women, immigration, and even gun laws. Now, I can tell you that both sides will claim victory for this debate tonight, but there is another one. It will happen next week in Boca Raton, Florida. We'll be there. But of course, now reporting from New York, Jacqueline Policastro.